Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to today's episode of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Herz, and today in studio, I have Michael from Dis Burrito. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Very excited. I've not tried your burritos. They look great. I've read your story. Really interesting story. Give me a little history of you and your company. Absolutely. So I started cooking when I was eight. I started working in restaurants when I was 14. Um, when I graduated college, I, I uh, worked through restaurants all throughout college as well. And uh, after the tech bubble burst, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my career. So I went back to school, got my culinary degree, and became an executive chef. Okay. Uh, got rid of that because of dollars and cents, because the amount of dollars you make as a chef makes no sense. Which I can't believe I haven't heard that one before. Really? Uh, <laughs> that's a Fox original. All right. So, we'll anyway, got into financial services, because that's what you do. You go to culinary school before financial services. Yeah. and. Um, uh, when I was finished with my career at financial services, we got into electric vehicles selling electric tuk-tuks in the United States. And then, as we all know, COVID hit. Yeah. And we're on lockdown, sitting in my backyard with my quarantine. And we would do dinner pretty much three, four nights a week. And uh, one of them finally said, I'm sick of doing uh, dinner. Let's do breakfast for dinner. So right. here we are. I always thought breakfast tastes better as, uh, everything tastes better as a burrito. So let's do breakfast for dinner. I made a bunch of breakfast burritos for my team and they fell in love with them and said, you should start a business. That was April 24th of 2020. And uh, I think three months later, August 6th, we uh, launched our first coffee shop, Method Coffee Roasters down in Lohi. Um, uh, tom actually tomorrow, I think it is, we launch our 20th coffee shop and we have two more slated for, um, for March. So that is the big question. Where can people get your burritos, right? So um, definitely go to our website. You can see a list of all the coffee shops. Um, some of the highlights, uh, Improper City down in Rhino, yeah, uh, Aviano in Cherry Creek, Hudson Hill and Wild, same coffee shop, different locations, uh, Capitol Hill. and But we're all over the Denver, met the Denver downtown area and uh, expanding pretty much every week. We're launching new coffee shops. Is there a goal to get into grocery stores? You know, I, I don't, I mean, I don't want to say it's a goal. I mean, I'm not going to say no. But um, I'm trying to keep it more boutique. Everything we do is local here in Colorado. Okay. I would say 99% of all of our ingredients are sourced here in Colorado. Uh, the one, and I can't say 100 anymore, is we're going to launch this new gluten-free line uh, starting in the beginning of March. And I couldn't find a good gluten-free tortilla here in Colorado. So I, uh, I, I've not, I haven't even had a bad gluten-free tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> do they even have them? They do. There's okay. tons of different companies making them. Biggest challenge, they fall apart. Yeah. Uh, but I found a great company. Many of you have probably heard of it. It's called Siete Tortillas. They're out, yeah. of, uh, they're out of Texas. Uh, fantastic family-owned company. Uh, it's excited to work with them. So we're going to be uh, using their uh, their tortilla and our gluten-free gluten line. So yours are not average everyday burritos. What makes your burritos different than other people's? You know, it's a great question. Um, people make fun of me because, um, you know, I say it's a burrito made with purpose. Yeah. <laughs> and everything I've done in this burrito is literally with purpose. We use 100% real egg. We use real cheese, shredded cheddar jack blend. We make a clean green chili so your stomach doesn't hurt after you're eating the burritos. We use um, roasted potatoes, so a lot of burritos out there are going to use a potato mishmash or they're going to use a, a shredded potato and I think you found that a lot of times a potato is not cooked. I had a breakfast burrito this morning and it was not cooked. Yeah. So we it was actually, not his. <laughs> I was in a hurry. I knew him. Yeah. So we roast our potatoes so you get some body out of it and you get some cool flavor out of the roasted, uh, the roasted uh, potato. And then we use our ingredients um, for the chicken chorizo, which is truly unique. It's for the, the meat eater that doesn't eat pork. So we grind an all-natural red bird chicken here in Colorado and turn it into a chicken chorizo. You're making your own chorizo. We're making our own chorizo. Ah. It's a, a spice blend that I, I developed during COVID. Um, we use Polidori sausage over in over in Park Hill. Them 100 years. Yep, absolutely. The uh, the beans are are uh, are made fresh here by our by our partner. So all, all the ingredients you're going to find are local except for that tortilla, but it's done with purpose and they're mixed in with purpose. So a lot of burritos, and I, I brought some samples with me here. How not to make a burrito. To, so if you notice how I'm oh, opening it, Jesus. I mean, it's stuck to itself. You're having problems getting into it. You're going and, to eat some of that tinfoil. And you see how gooey this is? No, Everybody loves tinfoil in their teeth, right? We're not going to name whose these are. So rather than get that open because I can't get it open, I'm just going to cut it in half. And you're just going to see kind of potato mishmash that's going to fall Those over the Those potatoes don't look cooked either. They're not, actually. I tried one. <laughs> I actually ate one of these this morning, too. Um, and then I've got another couple. I um, love this idea that he's showing, like, how not to make burritos. You know, if you take a look at that, I mean, that's just dry. And, I mean, can you see an ingredient in there? 
No, it's just potato. No. And then we'll cut no another egg. one in half. And that oh. one's e even worse. It almost looks like fettuccine Alfredo no, wrapped in a tortilla. To <laughs> so that's what not to do. So if you notice on all of our burritos, you can see the ingredients. You can see the egg. You can see the green chili as a goo. But I'll show you one thing about our burritos. When you cut it in half, nothing's coming out. They taste delicious. It's designed so you can eat it in the car. It's designed so you don't get just mishmash. Now you can see the egg in there. I'm gonna throw it on a close-up. Yeah, there. by all means. So literally, and, and like I said, my friends make fun of me because it's a burrito with purpose, um, but it truly is. And once you try the burritos, you'll really realize that it is a burrito made with purpose. All right, we're gonna take these one at a time over to this close up and you tell them what each one is. Yeah. Remember what that one was? All right, <laughs> yeah. This one is the chicken chorizo. Um, and again, it's a ground chicken, and it's for those folks that don't eat pork but want some sort of protein in the morning. Doesn't come with the sauce, though, does it? It actually does come with the come sauce. On. Not every coffee shop, and the sauce is actually something we should uh, touch on. Yeah. That is our, um, our really different, really true difference. The coffee shops love it. People fall in love with it. I call it Cinco Verde. It's five greens. So you've got your cilantro, your tomatillas, your lime juice, your avocado, and which one am I missing? Oh, duh, the most important one, 505 Southwestern Green Chilies. Okay. Some and might so, say they're not in Colorado, too, because they come from Hatch, but 505 is based here in Colorado. Okay. <laughs> this one here, is this? That, that was the vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. Got to cater to the vegetarian folk. Okay. And then this guy here. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the bacon. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I was just thinking, you, know, you asked me where you can get the burritos. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention to you guys is not only can you get them at the 20 different coffee shops, uh, but you can buy direct right off our website, disburrito.com. You can buy them in packs of 12 and 24. We do deliver here locally. And then furthermore, we can even do catering for you. So you can get them delivered hot to your office, hot to private parties, really whatever you want to do. What's the uh, minimum on that? Uh, minimum on that is for, for catering is 24 burritos. Okay, that's reasonable. Yeah, it's reasonable. What, what are you charging? So they're about $5.95 per burrito. We okay. do do, we run specials all the time. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. We're doing all sorts of specials. We do your first box right now, 30% off. So if you've never ordered from us before, you get a 30% off discount for your first, no matter how you're ordering, whether it's a direct buy or catering, you get 30% off. And so even if you bought like 10 boxes, you get 30% off? 10 boxes, you get 30% off. And can you freeze them? Yeah, absolutely. They can come frozen, they can come refrigerated, they can come hot. So when you order them, do you, you specify? On the, on, the, on the website, you can specify how you want them. And the coolest thing is, my friends that were there for breakfast, for dinner, got them fresh off of my stove in my kitchen. They have been through the whole progression of me making them, now moving over to a partner making them, and frozen, refrigerated, microwave, ovens, they can't tell the difference. Wow. Whether it's frozen or not, and that's the coolest thing. Do you cook it from frozen, right you, into the microwave? You know, I don't recommend it, okay. but you certainly can. What you're gonna get push. with that is a lot of moisture inside a there. A little mushy? If you're gonna cook it in the microwave from frozen, what I recommend is get it cooked 90% of the way there, and then put it in a flat top or put it in a panini machine, and you'll get a little crisp and get rid of that Even extra moisture. Even a toaster moisture. oven would be so, better. Absolutely, air yeah. fryer, toaster oven, you can do anything. But better off if it's frozen, take it out the Ta day before. If you take it out the night before, literally, t midnight, you take it out the night before, put it in your refrigerator, it'll be ready to rock first thing in the morning. Awesome. Which one should I eat? Ah, let's get you a chicken chorizo. Do we forget anything? All right, I'm gonna open this puppy <laughs> up. One of the things I want you to notice when you open up our burrito, it's completely dry. I'm sorry to touch your burrito, my hands are clean, don't worry. Well, now but, you're going to have to feed me. But there's your... <laughs> there you go. All right. Hold on. We're not there yet. We'll get there in a second. Um, so b bottom line is there's no moisture anywhere. The burrito's not falling all over the place. And then when you cut it open, and I'll let you cut it in half because I don't want to touch your internal ingredients, moist, fresh, gooey burrito that's not dripping out of his hands. He wants it on the close-up. Look at him. Uh, uh. <laughs> Josh, you're so cute. <laughs> Love you. You need a little Cinco Verde sauce on that Couldn't puppy. Couldn't hurt it. There you go. Check your list. Did we forget anything? Just uh, my ask. My yeah, only, my, my only ask. ask for you guys is, listen, don't take my word for it. Don't take Larry's word for it. Try the burrito. Go to our website. Check out one of the coffee shops. Buy them direct from me. 
Um, it, and honestly, if you reach out for me directly through the website, I'll come bring you some free samples. Now that's gonna be within reason. I'll keep that in the Denver area, but I'm happy to give you free samples because I will put my money where my mouth is. These are the best burritos you can get. Next thing, my, my next ask for you is go follow us on Instagram, go follow us on Facebook, go follow us on TikTok. Uh, we're a new company, we're growing here in Denver and we're super excited about it. And my last piece is, and this is the most important one, if you've got a coffee shop in the area or you know an owner of a coffee shop, do me a favor, refer us in, I'll give you free burritos for six months. If yeah, the coffee shop has <laughs> to sign on, just so you know, free burritos for six months. So what is that, like one a day? Like, oh, that, <laughs> how do you quantify that? We're gonna give I mean, you, I can eat 10 burritos a day. We're, we're gonna give you a 12 pack of burritos <laughs> All right. once per month for Gotta six Gotta read months. the fine print on yeah, that one. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> see the fine print, it's right here. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, thanks for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Uh, we do not have a show tomorrow, so everybody have a great weekend. Buy your own lunch, Josh, you're cheap. Uh, but we'll be back at this next week and we're, we're still gonna keep doing this. We're starting book April. Uh, so let's eat. I knew that was going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> that definitely makes up for this morning's nasty, uncooked, which I won't name where it was from. <laughs> he knows.